Yeah.
and Jive. We are the Z3 playing the music of Frank Zappa. Thank you so much for being here. Let's have some fun. Yeah. This next song's off the 200 Motels record.
entirely too much for their beer. They all think it's clean outside. It's ready to party. Sign outside says it's wet t-shirt night.
Everyone's so busy doing other things. We don't get to play this music as often as we would like. But when we do, it's a special thing for us and hopefully for you guys out there who appreciate Frank Vincent Zappa. I will cheers to that, absolutely. We're going to be at Bryac Sunday, November 9th. So come on out for some more Zappa on that night. And we're going to have Ed Mann with us. Ed couldn't make it today. Had a small emergency, but uh, he sends his best, and uh, he knows you guys will rage for him. So just make sure you don't let Ed down today, all right, please? Make sure you rage for Ed. Ed! Eddie! Ed. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm not feeling that much. I'm feeling like Big Smooth. Certainly, or or. Okay, scrap it. Yeah. Okay. All right, this song's off. <laughs> this song's off the Waka Jawaka record.
fit with my hair gap. Wear a gag of pants and my shoe shot. Got a little lady that walked out. Girl, I'm all the boys that you can't be. Set you straight. Me on the corner, boys, open. Well, in a suit with a bow tie. Gonna buy a grunt with a dead body. Thank <laughs> you. 
whoever we are, wherever we're from, you should have noticed by now, our behavior is dumb, and if our chances expect to improve, it's gonna take a lot more than trying to remove the other race, so the other whatever, from the place of the planet, all together. <laughs> They call it the Earth, which is a dumb kind of name, but they named it right because we behave the same. We're dumb all over. We're dumb all over. Yes, we are. Dumb all over. Near and far. Dumb all over. Black and white. People, we is not that tight. <laughs> on the right, religious fanatics on the air every night, saying the Bible tells the story, makes the details sound real glory about what to do if the geeks over there don't believe in the book that we got over here, you can't run a race without no feet pretty soon there won't be no street the dumb is the dog gone, the dog is the dog gone religious fanatics will make me all gone, it won't blow up or disappear it'll just look ugly for a thousand years <laughs> You can't run a country by a book of religion Not by a heap or a lump or a smidgen of foolish rules Of ancient date designed to make you all feel great Or why you fold, spindle, and mutilate Those unbelievers from that neighboring state <laughs> Two arms, two arms, hooray, that's great Too late, ain't bad unless there's a great thing They ship the parts back to mama and For souvenirs, two ears, get down Not his, not hers, but what the hey The good book says it's gotta be that way But their book says burn and destroy And chance and hand grenades Two bombs, two bombs Have another and another Our God says There ain't no other Our God says It's all okay Our God says This is the way It says in the book Revenge the Crusades <laughs> Revenge of the demon Repent and deploy And rumbly forth To the ever landing Scum of the sun On the other side Cause they don't go For what's in the book And that makes them mad So Verily, we must chop it them up, or stomp it them down, or rent a nice American bomb. <laughs> to poop them out of existence while leaving the real estate behind, just where we need it to use again for temples in which to praise our God, because you know he really takes care of business. And when that wonderfully nice preacher on YouTube and his podcast and the radio and the TV and the serious network and out on the street corner tells you it's okay to do this stuff, well, folks, you better do it because if you don't do it, you ain't going to ride up to heaven, depending on which book they use at the time. Can't use theirs, it's all lies, gotta use mine, ain't that right? That's what they say every night and every day, I mean... Dumb if we're just following God's orders. He wrote the book, right? And in the book it says he made us all to be just like him. So that means if we're dumb, then God is dumb. And maybe even a little bit ugly on the side. Dumb all the fuck, a little ugly on the side. Dumb all the fuck, a little ugly on the side.
pipe and smoke it. We now like to pray to our God, Mr. Frank Zappa, the flower punk.
Frankfurt. Yeah, Frankfurt. So that was our uh, latest original we just wrote. <laughs> In, in 1967. In 1967. In October 2014. Yeah. Folks, this is a beautiful place. I hope to play here again. The trees are responding to us and I'm responding to them. I love the fall. I love dressing warm and drinking beer and playing music. Salute. Do the trees want to hear that? Oh, the trees are talking. What do they want to hear? The trees are filling the titties. They want to have to do with the trees and beer? Yes. Yes. Okay. Fine. Fine. The trees have spoken. This next song is called Titties and Beer. Yeah! It's a Halloween song. Oh, we have Halloween Indeed. coming up. That's no true. one enjoyed Halloween more than Frank. I wish I could have attended some of those Halloween spectacles. All right, here we go. Stars in shine, cause the sky's too high. Everywhere I seen some ugly trees, there was this where I won't find all the silence. What you're sucking on But there was no reply Cause she was gone Last her skin's got act so well And it's got them bad That's when I started to yell And I heard this noise Like a crunching twig And up jumped the devil He's about to spin He had a red suit on And a little streak And then a pointy tail Like a subway I said it's Up underneath this young king, no one looked to me like it was dead as I said, You son of a bitch, cause I was mad at it. And so he got out his boss, started cleaning his fangs, and then I shot him with my American shooter, said, Bang, 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 and then that sucker just laughed and said, Put it away, I ain't all up now, Timmy. What you gonna say? You ain't my Chrissy. It is at all. Well, what about the beer then, boy? What are little skinny cans about you, Tom? Even her boots. Would I lie to you? Shit, you must have been hungry. Yeah. Don't they pay you good for the stuff that you do? Well, I can't complain when the checks come through. I want my Chrissy. I want my beer. Yeah. So you just bar from back up now, Billy Devil, do you hear? Motorcycle man, I mean, I am the devil now. Do you understand? Not yet. Just what will you give me for your titties and beer? Perhaps you happen to see this little contract over here? You got damn right, you son of a whore. You're about the only reason I learned writing for. Give me that invisible paper, bitch, your ass I will sign, you know, because Billy Carbone, I need for the beer and it's titty squeezing time. You can't fool me. You ain't that bad, huh? I mean, you should. 
should have seen some of the souls that I had. Start had. talking. Ravy Chard and Joe Mango, too. And both of those suckers are way worse than you. Well, let's make a deal if you think that's true. I mean, he is the devil, folks. What are you going to do? Now, hold on a minute there, Tim. Most people have no interest, especially people that have recently procreated, like within the last 24 hours or so. No interest in making a deal with the devil whatsoever. You're very true, devil. There's a lot on the line, but uh, I am not your average guy, so uh, let's do it. <laughs> I don't know about this. Well, you uh, ran across a very special specimen of guitar player from East Haven, Connecticut, who is willing to throw everything, including my brand new born baby girl, Colette Rose Palmieri, on the line for these two items you have, devil. Let's make it. Let's take a moment here and give it up to Tim, the new dad here. This guy is a new dad. He's already making deals with the devil. He's already making deals Less with the devil. Less than 24 hours, and I'm ready to jump right into the fire with the devil, Bill Carbone, right over here. Father of two. Well, I know one thing that Colette likes a lot. What does she like a lot? Well, she probably likes milk. You're right. right, right. And therefore, she may also like titties. <laughs> I think my baby daughter definitely likes the titties. You see now why I need those back. You took them devil from me. Don't deprive my baby girl of no the titties. No way, Tim. They're mine. <laughs> but it's not just the titties that I want back, devil. That's why I'm willing to make a deal with you. There's another thing you have of mine that I need to make a deal for. I see. Uh, oh, that discount card for uh, the large quantity of Pampers? There's another thing that I need to uh, make a deal with you for, devil. What Can you guess oh, what it is? Oh, yes, that, uh, that butt powder that keeps them from getting ratchets. Yes, the butt powder. <laughs> no, not the butt powder. I need beer. Titties and beer. No. Titties and beer. No. Titties and beer. No. Titties and beer. 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 Titties and beer.
I would like to make uh, mention of this wonderful gentleman over here to my left. His name is Bo Sasser. Make some noise for Bo Sasser. Bo's going to be bringing his group to Bryak on Thursday night. So, funk, man. Oysters and funk. I'm going to do it. of the Utility Muffin Research Kitchen. Reaching for an oversized chrome spoon, he gathers an intimate quantity of dried muffin remnants and proceeds to dump these down inside of his shirt. Speaks. Some people like crab cakes better. I, for one, I care less for them. sterile canvas due to a fully charged icing anointment utensil he puts forth a quarter ounce craft green rosettes <laughs> Crab, a green rose set near the summit of a dense but radiant muffin of his own design. <laughs> and later he says, Some people, some people like crab cakes exclusively, while I say they're not, nor ought there be no something to exalt it on the face of God's great earth. As the Prince of Foods, was heard in the night as a result of him stuffing.
thought I might get some sleep. Stretch myself out all on my antique bed and my spirit in a midnight creep. You know I'll never sleep no more. It seemed to me that I'd just stay wired. Did you ever wake up in the morning when the sound will walk? Two. My right foot 
looks bigger than my other one is like a regular sound at her. With a raging dormitory, don't try to let her know. I might snatch you up screaming through the window on the 